Love it or hate it, the world can't get enough of coffee. Next to tea, people usually start their day with a cup of this brewed drink, even relying on it until they finish their daily tasks. Aside from its primary purpose, coffee has also served important roles in the economy, art, and the culinary world. Though it may be the go to drink for many, there's still a lot of things you probably don't know about this drink. Here are 30 coffee facts that'll help wake you up. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neat facts to discover the world one click at a time. Number 1. Coffee is a fruit. Coffee beans grow from a bush and belong to the berry family, which makes it a fruit. Typically, coffee grows in green and red beans. Number 2. The name cappuccino was inspired by monks. Your favorite cup of cappuccino borrows its name from the cappuccino monks of 16th century Italy. Since the color of espresso mixed with frother milk resembles the color of their robes, the popular drink soon took after the Franciscan order of monks. Number 3. Americans spend over $1,000 on coffee every year. The average American spends about $1,092 on coffee each year. This breaks down to roughly $92 a month, which is about $3 worth of coffee a day. Number 4. Drinking coffee at night has negative effects. Caffeine consumption during the evening causes unnatural delay in our brains. Its stimulating effect slows down our melatonin production, which interrupts our circadian rhythm by about 40 minutes. Number 5. Starbucks opens a store every day. Ever since the year 1987, Starbucks has opened two stores per day around the world. With more than 27,000 retail stores worldwide, Starbucks is the largest coffeehouse company in the world today. Number 6. Starbucks has multiple drink combinations. With 87,000 different drink combinations and its famed secret menu, it's no wonder why people can't get enough of Starbucks. Number 7. Coffee may have effects on sperm. Much like how caffeine can enter your blood, it can also mix with a man's sperm. Since coffee can raise blood levels, many studies have been done to analyze whether coffee can affect a man's fertility. According to one study, drinking more than 4 cups of coffee each day can result in oddly shaped sperm cells. Number 8. You can overdose on coffee. Studies have shown that consuming over 70 cups of coffee can kill a 70 kilogram person. The amount of caffeine from this serving can trigger heart palpitations and cardiac arrest. This means that you would need to drink about 3 cups of coffee each hour for one whole day for it to be lethal. Number 9. You cannot become dehydrated from coffee. You feel more dehydrated after drinking caffeinated beverages due to its diuretic effects. The caffeine content in drinks such as coffee or tea causes you to urinate more, which makes you thirsty. Number 10. Coffee was most likely discovered in Yemen. As timeless as coffee is, its origins trace back to 15th century Yemen. Records show that the Sufi Muslim monasteries first brewed the dark beverage in the town of Mocha. From there, coffee drinking spread through the Middle East and Northern Africa. Though legends concerning coffee's origins persist, the Yemeni monasteries were the most likely birthplace of this popular beverage. Number 11. Brazil is known to be the largest producer of coffee. For over 150 years, Brazil has supplied a third of the entire world's coffee production. That said, Vietnam closely follows with 97% of its output in Robusta coffee. Number 12. A tea importer popularized coffee in Britain. It may seem funny now since tea and coffee often go against each other as rival beverages. However, a tea importer actually brought the first caffeinated drink to Britain. The British East India Company which traded with India and China brought tea, salt, and silk, among other items, to Britain. Soon, the company began importing coffee, which popularized the energizing drink in Britain. Number 13. It takes a day to fully eliminate caffeine from your system. Half of the consumed caffeine in your system can be cleared from your system within 5 hours, but its residue will stay in your body for a whole day. The effects of caffeine reach its peak around 30 to 60 minutes from consumption. Number 14. Coffee accelerates metabolism. Coffee naturally contains caffeine, which is a stimulant, and temporarily increases the metabolism. Some fitness trainers even advise drinking coffee before workout to maximize fat burning potential.
Number 15. Coffee pods are banned from German government buildings. Established in 2016, this rule prevents the production of unnecessary aluminum waste in the office spaces. Number 16. You can reduce the risks of illness with coffee consumption. Studies have found that drinking two cups of coffee a day can reduce the risk of alcohol related cirrhosis by at least 43%. Number 17. Your office coffee mugs might not be as clean as you think they are. About 20% of coffee mugs from offices contain fecal bacteria due to communal cleaning materials such as brushes or scrubbing tools. Number 18. You would need about 37 gallons of water to grow a coffee bean. More than 1,300 gallons of water are needed to produce one 12 ounce cup of coffee. Number 19. Coffee helps reduce liver damage. Studies suggest that drinking coffee could help reduce liver damage from alcohol. For an experiment, 430,000 participants with liver damage drank two cups of coffee a day. According to the results, this coffee consumption linked to a 44% lower risk of developing liver cirrhosis. Number 20. Drinking coffee in Turkey was once punishable by death. In 1633, the Ottoman Sultan Murad IV beheaded anyone he saw drinking coffee in public. Aside from coffee being seen as a mild narcotic back then, Murad IV believed that coffee shops could encourage dangerous thoughts or speech against his rulership. Number 21. The Pope called coffee a Christian beverage. When coffee was first widely introduced into Europe, Much of the Christian population viewed the dark drink as a Muslim beverage. Christians only started drinking it after Pope Clement VIII declared coffee a Christian drink in 1600. Number 22. Men can reduce their risk of prostate cancer by drinking coffee. Studies suggest that men who drink six or more cups of coffee a day can lower their risk by 20%. Number 23. There are millions of people who rely on coffee to make a living. All over the world. About 25 million small producers rely on coffee trade as their main source of income. Number 24. Espresso contains more coffee per unit volume. However, its usual serving size makes the caffeine content less than what you would get from a standard coffee in a mug. Number 25. Roasting gives coffee its distinct color and taste. After being sold as green coffee beans, these coffee beans are roasted, which turns the coffee beans into its distinct brown. The different methods of roasting give the coffee beans their distinctive flavor and color. The sugar in the beans turn them brown as they roast. Darker beans are considered bolder, and lighter roasts more strongly flavored. Number 26. There are two main types of coffee. Though coffee comes in many varieties, the two main types of coffee are Arabica and Robusta. As the name suggests, Arabica coffee was originally cultivated somewhere in the Arabian Peninsula. Meanwhile, Robusta coffee comes from a more hardy plant with double the amount of caffeine. Number 27. Instant coffee makes a fast cup of joe. Invented in 1907, instant coffee is made by dehydrating coffee into powder or freeze dried granules. Though it had been around for a while back then, instant coffee only became more popular after World War I. At the time, Nescafe was the predominant brand. Nowadays, even Starbucks sells its own instant coffee. Number 28. A cup of joe is named for the average man. While、well, one theory suggests the phrase cup of joe comes from the event where U.S. Secretary of the Navy, Josephus Daniels, unloaded alcohol on Navy ships, this remains unverified. It's more likely that the phrase references the idea that coffee is a plain, universal beverage consumed by the average man, also known as an average joe. Number 29. Wild civets produce the world's most expensive coffee. Sold between $100 and $600 a pound, the world's most expensive cup of coffee comes from wild civet droppings, also known as kopi luwak. This blend is brewed from beans excreted by the Indonesian civet after the mammal ingests coffee berries. Controversy has since surrounded kopi luwak since BBC reporters investigated its production and found that some retailers handled civets inhumanely. These same providers would then sell the excreted beans as if they were gathered in the wild. Coffee Luwak has become popular not just because of its high price tag and interesting production, but also for its unique flavor, which is said to be less bitter than regular coffee. Number 30. Hawaii is the only American state that grows coffee. For the ideal harvest, coffee plants need high altitudes and tropical climates. Because of these tropical conditions, 
Hawaii is the only American state that can grow coffee. The wonders of coffee prove that there's always something special about everyday things. Even with something you consume every day, there's always something new that could surprise you. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.